America is full of policemen who are bored in their jobs because they don't do them. They're so busy psychologically abusing someone that they decided they'd shave his eyebrows. They thought they would take him out of his clothes. They thought they would shave his body. They thought they would shave his genitalia and try to teach him a moral lesson that is not theirs to dispose. The liars of America are white men predominantly, some black men who think they know God. And if they knew God, then they would know that God is not pleased with them at all. We now have a time of COVID. Why did that happen? Was it because God said enough with you men, enough with your lies, enough with your silliness, enough playing God. You see, the president, Lord Biden, wants to have the police officers take that chance, that Russian roulette, and maybe it's his way to equalize America, to get rid of, well, the stench. The stench from a police force is always available to us because now they're abusing the American flag. The abuse of the American flag is an abomination to the Lord. I've been told this now many, many times through my gifts of Oracle of Old. There are people who don't like the word psychic, like Teresa Pugaputo. She prefers medium. I prefer channel. Channel is important. Oracle cards are important. Finding God's love is important. Doing God's word is somewhat important important. You see, evangelizing the world is talking about God's love. It's not using God's word to abuse people psychologically, emotionally, physically, or sexually. Your failure is to recognize that you are failing God. You put yourself above a human being as if you're a God or a slave master. You're not. There is no master slave owner to America other than the Lord Most High. And when you bastardize yourself, by ingratiating or ingrandulizing yourself, grandizing, I can't say it right, grandandalizing yourself, somebody help me with that, you know what I'm saying, sorry, grandiosing yourself, you screwed yourself before God. How many times do we have to talk about this in a pagan sermon for you to get this, that my property bags belong to me, little shit Spanish man, and openly it must be you because you're the only one out pissing on me. The liars of America play white, black, and indifferent. And I hate to tell you this, but you're standing in before God in everything you do today. You're lying to yourself about who you are to your crew today. You're a motherfucking father who can't even take care of his own children. That means you're a sperm donor, sperm donor who doesn't deserve them. You failed God in your fatherhood. Now, I've seen some players with their britches underneath their ass still carrying a baby in a tender type of onesie. And isn't that marvelous today that we have many fashionable men across America? That's great. If you're a provider for the family, if you're a lover of your son, if you're a parent teaching him how to be number one, not in the world, but in his own life, then okay. But if you're teaching that son to be a liar, a thief, a champion of grief, then you failed God in every way.